Our son, Seth, was born four months early. He was born at 24 weeks old. He was born at one pound, 10 ounces, and at 12 and a half inches long. Um, so he fit literally in the palm of, of your hands. He was just, he's very tiny. But at 67 days old, he had had 322 blood labs, five blood transfusions. He had two eye exams. Well, I think that what makes an institution like this so special is not only the patients, the, the physicians, the nursing staff, really everybody who goes together to, to really be the team that takes care of babies. The nurses and the doctors have been just phenomenal with communicating with us. Is that what we would go home on, Lisa? That's a, absolutely what you would go home on. And later today, I could actually train you on having the, to give them medication, as well, okay? We wouldn't be here. We're, we're very lucky to be here. They make sure that we understand and that we're okay with it and that we know what's happening. And even just going above and beyond, like our nurses, they stay with us and they come in early and they stay late, you know, just to like make us smile. Many times we as the care providers are the family for many of the patients and so you develop a relationship unlike any other place in medicine or, uh, when you can take care of babies and it's incredibly satisfying on so many different levels. When you walk around this hospital and you see all these kids and babies and you know just children fighting every single day that's what they do they he fights every day my area of research is genetic causes of lung disease in newborns it's becoming more and more difficult to get federal research dollars and it takes a long time to really get the results that we want research is very expensive even though we do research with babies a lot of the lessons that we learn are really applicable to adults and vice versa and the donations just really help. Recently, my husband and I, my brother, our family, my company, we all did the Lurie Children's Walk Run for Kids 5K, and we raised money to directly go to the hospital. And we see it too, we see, you know, like where the money, I guess, goes in a, an entirely different way. The care that's given here is just all the difference in his survival as well. I. I just don't think that without this team, I just feel like we would be in an entirely different situation. I really believe that, so we're very passionate about this place. <laughs>